Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in and I'm thrilled to see you again. In this episode, first, digital transactions are becoming the mature way of payment in Vietnam. Second, Vietnam aims to reach zero net emission and green energy by 2050. And lastly, good news for all people who want to travel to Vietnam as the government proposed to extend its visa waiver to EU and US country, also extending the duration. So let's get moving. My name is Vivian and if you're new to the channel, I'm from the Global Communication Team and you are watching Vietnam Weekly News where we share stories and news happening in Vietnam. Before getting started, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can even send us a super thanks to support our team. Thank you. Let's begin with our first topic today. Vietnam becomes a cashless society. Digital payments started to roll during pandemic and social distancing rules. Now people pick up the habit of paying bills or transfer money with their mobile phones. According to data released by the Ministry of Information and Communication, 65% of Vietnamese consumers carry less cash in their wallets and 32% say that will stop using cash after the pandemic. Almost 76% of consumers are currently using e-wallets in order to promote non-cash payment. A representative of the state bank said that in the coming time, the state bank will continue to study, review and complete the legal framework, develop policies to promote the cashless payment on the basic of technology application and innovation. Moving forward, let's talk about Vietnam going green in the transport sector by 2050. Like many countries in the world, Vietnam aims to reach zero net emission and going green in the transportation industry. From 2040, the government plans to gradually limit cars and motorbikes using combustion engines. According to the plan, all new buses and taxis will need to run on electricity and green energy. Is it said to be an opportunity for the transport industry to have a development toward modernization and sustainability, keeping pace with the world's advanced development trend and levels? Last but not least, what can be done in order to attract international tourists? Maybe extending visa free to more countries after government opened a border gate and many tourist activities many people questions if the visa policy will be relaxed in order to attract more tourists to vietnam after calls from the tourism association and tourists the ministry of tourism is considering to increase the number of nationality eligible for visa exemptions currently tourists from 25 countries do not need visa on arrival but this list who should be extended to include the US and other European nations. Moreover, the proposal also includes extending the period of stay. Right now, the current visa exemption has 15 days of stay for many countries but could be extended to four weeks. The plan will soon be submitted to the Prime Minister for approval. So, what's your thoughts on this week's news? How would you like your visa exemption to be? Please tell us on the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Hello, <laughs> Let's begin with our first topic today. This um see you next week. Thank you.